Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be doing something for candy. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be using is this glass jars. I got this at um, Costco. I just cleaned the whole thing and just removed the tag. Then I'm going to be using one doily here. I'm just showing you a bunch of them because at the beginning I just thought I was going to be using more than that. Then I'm going to be using some clay, mouth potch and a brush and some black acrylic paint, some glue. Try to work with epoxy glue. It's better. And then I'm going to be using some gloss and some TLS that stands for translucent liquid sculpey. This is pretty cool because it adds like a glue and you just have to apply it to your pieces before you bake your pieces. Once you bake your pieces, it's going to solidify. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on my piece of clay and I'm just going to be making a candy shaped figure you know you can um, pretty much do whatever shape of candy that you like and i found it easier to just you know work with three pieces at a time two of them kind of like the same size and then a bigger one which is going to be the middle part so the part in the middle is going to be pretty much a rectangular shape and the two bits on the sides are going to be pretty much triangles Then with a toothpick, I'm just going to mark, kind of like making uh, the indentations that candies tend to have, like the paper wrap, uh, just to make it more real. Then to put this whole thing together, I'm just going to be taking the same toothpick that I worked with before, and I'm just going to gather the whole piece from the middle. I'm just going to be using some TLS that is going to be helping me to make this three pieces as one solid piece. Right before I bake it, I'm going to add a kind of a base, a round tiny base that I made out of polymer clay as well. And I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before, gluing my base to my unpainted candy. And that goes to the oven. And I just bake those pieces together. I didn't bake the lid of my glass jar. Then I'm going to be covering with some mal patch the top of my lid. And I'm just going to be adding a doily on the top all around my lid. and just arranging my doily as I went and I'm just going to wait for that to dry so it's going to be easier for me to handle it so I just wanted my doily to be a bit you know stronger and so I'm just going to be taking a gloss and I'm just going to cover the whole thing so once my doily has hardened I'm just going to be gluing my bow part which is baked at this point and I'm just going to glue it on top of my lid. Once it's done, you can pretty much go ahead and do whatever. As far as for painting goes, I'm just going to be taking my black acrylic paint, covering the whole thing. I'm just going to be giving this a few coats and um, don't forget the insides, the outsides. I'm even going to be painting the candy part. So once it's done and dry, I'm going to be taking a gold paint. Now, as you can see, I'm using um, some nail polish because at this point I didn't have any uh, acrylic paint in gold. So just I'm just going to be working with the, my nail polish. The only bad thing about working with nail polish when it's not on your nails is that it has a smell. It's like a nail polish after all. But feel free to use acrylic paint. I'm just going to go ahead and just add some details here and there on the candy part, going back and forth with my gold and with my black and so on and so forth and the same thing with my doily I just went and added a bit of paint on the edges and so I'm just going to let this uh, set since I was working with nail polish and again those tend to smell a lot harder I'm just going to be letting this dry for 24 hours then to add my finishing touches to my candy and the whole thing i'm just going to be adding some gloss in spray form then i'm just going to be adding something for more of a detail because i thought it was cuter i'm just going to be taking a cardboard piece and i'm just going to be taking some detailed scissors adding some you know holes in there with a, a hole puncher and i'm just going to go then with my sharpie and i'm just going to add more details i'm just going to write candy just for fun just you know to make this uh, more detailed I'm going to be taking a rope ribbon. Now this is pretty much optional, but I went for more detail and just adding kind of more presentation to the whole thing. You don't really need that much, but just again, it uh, depends on how long you want your detail to be. 
So once I'm done choosing how long I want my rope to be, I'm just going to be adding some detail by adding two knots on each end. And then I'm just going to be painting my rope because I didn't have gold rope or any acrylic paint. So I'm just going to be using again my nail polish and I'm just going to be covering the whole thing. And I'm just going to be pretty much be adding the final touches, which is my rope, gluing those two pieces together. And finally, I'm just going to add some glue to my label and I'm just going to glue it in with my rope ribbon. And yeah, this is pretty much how it looks like. Feel free to use mason jars as well for this project. I think they would look pretty as well. I really hope you enjoy it as much as I did making this and looking at it every time I go to the kitchen. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff if you haven't already. And uh, share this one so more people can watch it. Thank you so much for watching. If you go for this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Twitter using the hashtag cute symbol stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.